Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, whether you are ready for it or not, whether you are for or against this announcement, the future as you know it is about to become disrupted. The future will be marked by an ominous new technology which will gain extreme amounts of power from its sole popularity alone. An entity so powerful it will change the fate of entire industries. Because of this new technology, some of the current waters of our technologically advanced society will likely become replaced. What mysterious device will be this revolutionary and possibly this destructive to current and proud business owners of these threatened industries? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to present to you this very important announcement which could change all of our lives. Death of the Smartphone Hi there. First of all, I do apologize for that outdated looking intro. Gonna have to talk to management about that. But anyways, as you all know, or hopefully know by now, the smartphone has been quite the groundbreaking innovation within the last decade. Lots of older devices have now essentially been replaced by the many features that today's smartphone can now perform. Okay, for those of you who are still not convinced yet, I might as well spend the next couple of minutes detailing how much of an impact this has made on all of this. I may as well get started. One advantage with a smartphone camera is that you get to record quality spy videos inside an electronics store. Alright, so here I am now inside this electronics store. Most people here call it just that. I personally see it as more of a graveyard waiting to happen. Here, as you can see, are several products that are likely not being purchased by customers as frequently as they should. The GPS systems, such as these here, for example. Today's smartphones now have built-in GPS systems, so they know where they are on the planet. And with the smartphone, you don't have to carry an extra bulky GPS in your pocket. Oh, and all those e-readers? There's smartphone apps to replace those, too. Then there are these cameras. Yes, some may be waterproof, but that's nothing that a separate waterproof smartphone cover cannot fix. Whenever you don't have one of these in your pocket with you, you will always have a smartphone camera ready to whip out and take that one unexpected shot. And chances are, today's smartphone cameras may have better image quality than these anyway. Now, in addition to that, smartphones have the added capability of instantly sharing images you took to others who have cell phones as well as social media sites, without having to upload the images to a computer first. And with today's widely available smartphone apps, you can easily edit them or take panoramas and other unique looking pictures. And pricing? Factored out on a monthly cellular contract, you could buy most smartphones like mine for around a hundred or so dollars if not less about the same price or lower compared to all these other devices shown. All of this is very impressive indeed, but what intrigues me most about this whole ordeal is how expensive a device that these smartphones can compare themselves to. The video recording features of today's smartphones have progressed massively over the years in terms of quality. This in turn has led some smartphones to compare themselves to some specialized video recorders. What you see over there is a smartphone with a tripod compatible case recording 1080p video. And on the opposite side is a compact HD video recorder about $60. As you can see, there's a big gap in quality between these two cameras. So this one's a no-brainer. So we should probably turn it up a notch and introduce this JVC Averio camcorder about $200. As you can see, both record decent quality video and both record decent quality sound as well. So maybe I should really boggle in mind and really turn it up to 10 and introduce this professional quality video recorder. Again, both cameras record relatively the same quality of video and sound, but that camera over there, weighing nearly six pounds, costs about $5,000. And that phone over there, weighing only a third of a pound, costs only $100 with a contract. So both of these cameras recording essentially the same quality of video. Why is there a nearly 50-fold price difference between these two cameras? Be in no doubt that the professional video recorder still has its rightful place in the market for very obvious reasons. But for the other small devices, they may not be as lucky. There's a chance that the businesses behind them can face serious financial consequences and even bankruptcy. 
So what can these companies possibly do to survive this changing world of electronics? Since all of these devices are roughly the same price as the average smartphone, perhaps it's time to take a risk and make the pricing more competitive. A better option, however, would be to simply discontinue these devices altogether. There's no real need for them anymore if they can only do parts of what a smartphone already does. But for the survival of the companies themselves, if you can't beat them, join them. The best that these companies should do is appeal to the growing smartphone market. They already have ample experience in what they do, so they should do something to make the smartphone experience better. Create apps, create phone accessories, hardware, software, you name it. Whatever it takes, companies must keep up with changing trends and not stay too comfortably in a niche market where its popularity can vanish in an instant.